Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's Grand Theft Auto 5 online video, I'm going to be breaking down the two images of the two new vehicles from the High Life DLC that we actually just got a first glance at the other day. So I want to break those down and show them to you guys. So if you do like this video or find the information helpful or just super excited for the High Life DLC, please leave a like on the video guys. I would really appreciate it. Other than that, let's get started. I'll leave the links in the description. You know the deal. And of course, let's get into this video. So the two images I'm going to be looking at were released on Rockstar's Newswire the other day and they were actually talking about one of the new cars which is the Anus Huntley S which is a crossover SUV sport model and then the Dinka Thrust which is of course a motorcycle and we hadn't been confirmed these so far. Uh, it was really hinted that the Anus Huntley was going to be one. Uh, we had been confirmed that the Dinka Thrust was going to be but we didn't know what it looked like. A lot of people were unsure whether it was going to be a speed bike or whatnot but I'll talk about that in this video so the first image you can see this is all three of the cars you have the debache in the front you have the Pegasi to the left and on the right on the very end it's like a bluish greenish tent you can see the Anus Huntley S and the Anus in Grand Theft Auto's world is the equivalent of the Bentley now this is like the Bentley S3 crossover I covered this maybe about a month ago that this was going to be coming into the game you can see it has the Bentley style grill. So I would imagine that this would be very similar to the Galavante Baller in this game, a very sportier SUV. I'm going to imagine that it is going to have very few customization options, unfortunately. Most SUVs, it's kind of tough to put a ton of customization options, but for the most part, it, it looks like the Dubache and the um, Pegasi Zentorno are going to have their fair share of customization options. So fear not in that category, but it looks like it is just going to be a crossover SUV SUV, in my opinion, going to be very similar to the baller in this game. Who knows how much these cars are going to be? I'm assuming the NS Huntley will be somewhere around the same range of the baller, 70,000, something like that. So uh, hopefully it is a cool car. I'm definitely going to be getting it. And of course, I'll be giving you guys, uh, guys guides on all those cars and how you can customize them the best. Now, the second image we're going to be taking a look at today is the Dinka Thrust. Now, of course, Dinka, as you know, is the real life equivalent of Honda. Uh, they make the Dinka Jester, which is a very sportier car in this game. And they also make some other bikes in the game as well. And Honda in real life, the American car equivalent or not the American car equivalent, but the car you see very fr frequently on the road, uh, they make motorcycles as well. And this looks to be a very sporty bicycle. So all you stunters out there uh, and just guys who like fast motorcycles in general, this is going to be right up your alley. This is going to be something that I know you're going to be definitely looking forward to the Dinka Thrust. Uh, this is the first time we've gotten a motorcycle as a DLC vehicle, so I know that's something that you guys are going to be very excited about as well. I bet you're very thrilled uh, to finally get some motorcycle love for Grand Theft Auto 5 and GTA Online, and it looks really cool. I'm excited to get my hands on it. I'm excited to do some tricks on it, start flying up and down the highway and seeing what I can do. But other than that, guys, those are the two new vehicles that I wanted to show you, give you guys kind of a breakdown of what I think they are, what I think they're going to be, and how I think they're going to function in Grand Theft Auto Online. So like I said, if you do like this video or find the information helpful, please feel free to drop a like on the video, guys. I would really appreciate it. Leave your comments down below. What car are you most excited for for the High Life update? I definitely want to hear from you guys. And be sure to subscribe if you want to catch all my daily videos and other Grand Theft Auto 5 content. Other than that, guys, like I said, thanks for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.